Our ancestors lived up in trees. I think that we still live up in trees. But now we live in dead trees. Our houses are made out of trees. So if you live on the second floor, you're living up in the trees. And if you live on the third floor, you might as well be Tarzan and Jane because you're living up in the trees. Here is a whole forest laying on its side, waiting to become houses for modern humans. Some of you are seeing all these dead trees and you're thinking, <gasps> that's awful, that's terrible. Well, it's really not, but I'm glad you guys think that way because it means you love trees and I need more people to love nature and to love trees. So thank you very much, but check this out. California has way more trees in its forest than it did in 1850. We used to average in the redwoods like 15 to 100 redwood trees per acre and now it can be up to a thousand or more and that's because we've been logging the heck out of it ever since in fact there's only 4.6 percent of the old growth redwood forest left so hopefully right now you're like wait we have more trees today than we did before we logged 95 percent of the old growth forest and i would say yes that's definitely true you see after we logged the forest we replanted them way more densely and usually with only one or two species of trees instead of the dozens of species that lived there before we logged Sometimes we even planted trees from the air by dropping seeds from a helicopter, and they grew up way thicker than you would ever find in a natural forest. And we prevented the indigenous people from managing the land the way they had for thousands of years because they used to set a lot of low-impact fires, but we stopped them because we were like, trees are money. We want to make this money. But little did we know we were screwing ourselves because now when the forests catch on fire and they have like a thousand trees per acre, it burns to the ground. Whereas before, it would just burn like the little trees and stuff like that. So we're trying to bring that back. If you're interested in how that's happening, go to culturalfire.org. The indigenous folks are bringing back their traditional ecological knowledge to our landscapes. So in the case of forest, more trees aren't better. Now we have more tree plantations than forests with way less wildlife and way more wildfire. Oh, we went from biodiverse forests with like lots of plants growing on the ground with flowers for pollinators and berries for birds and lots of wildlife to tree plantations where it's so thick that nothing can grow up and can support any wildlife. Go learn about how we are helping nature heal itself at redwoodsrising.org and feel free to donate. You can just scroll down. There's a donate button. The money you donate creates a healthier environment for our descendants and that's what we want, right? A healthier environment for our descendants, right?